Okay, so um, we have the center of our table runner finished um, and our two clamshell variation um, borders. So now I wanna go ahead and skip over to our large triangle and we're gonna create a pattern box and fit a triangle design within that pattern box. This time, instead of creating two separate triangle boxes, one for um, each side, I'm going to show you how to adjust the current box. So I'm gonna move my camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're um, going to create a new pattern box for our triangle. So we're in the layout screen and I'm going to um, add a pattern box, move to my first point, plus go to the bottom of my triangle plus then the top of my triangle and check. So now I'm going to bring in my pattern and I've chosen this leafy um, feather triangle um, motif. So first thing I wanna do is rotate it. And I'm going to just use my 45 degree button and I'm going to hit it twice to get it in the right direction and then simply size it, making sure that my lock is on and smart size and it's ready to stitch.
Okay, so my first triangle is finished. I'm going to go ahead and clip my threads. And now I'm going to go back into my layout screen. So in my layout screen, this time, instead of adding a pattern box, I am going to adjust the current pattern box by using my little wrench here on um, the side. And so I'm going to move my machine to my first point and add to my second point plus and to the top of my triangle. This plops in my, um, my pattern. The tablet doesn't know that we've changed directions, so we need to rotate that again. So I'm going to, just using my 45 degree, I'm going to hit it twice, three times, four times and it's moved my design in the correct direction. I'm going to go ahead and resize it and then it's ready to stitch. So with this feature you can just keep using your same pattern box and moving it to the next one. Um, when you're using a square pattern box, usually um, it'll fit right into the next box, but I always like to resize it to be on the safe side because everyone's piecing isn't exactly square from one square to the next. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this and then we'll be ready to move on to our next step. 